that's me. Yeah, over there. The one with the huge red nose. Oh, that's right. I'm a clown. I bring joy to kids' faces on special days such as this birthday. Growing up, I always wanted to be an actress. A young starlet cruising the Hollywood Hills and brightly lit boulevards going to all the biggest and best parties. Orlando Bloom. Mm. But this is as close as I'm going to get to the big time. I guess in some demented sort of way, I am a star. I mean, not a movie star. Oh, how I'd love to be on the silver screen, but a star in these kids' eyes. Well, most kids. You can't win them all, I guess. I think I know how this kid feels. I mean, what's worse than a 24-year-old woman dressed like a goofball blowing up balloons? Especially one who doesn't even have a boyfriend. But then again, what guy would date a 24-year-old woman who dresses like a goofball and blows up balloons for a living? Ow! Yeah, this is the life, I tell ya. Always surrounded by spoiled, rotten brats who are ungrateful and cry when they don't get what they want. I swear, some days I could just walk away from all of this. The life, the glamour, the kids, the crazy rainbow hair even. Oh, you'd bet. I'd throw it all away for one shot at what I'm really good at. Performing. What are you doing? We need more balloons. Go get more balloons. But enough about my dreams, because they're never going to come true. I'm no Cinderella, and let's face it, this is definitely no fairy tale. Nope. This is the real world, and things like that just don't happen for a girl like me. Are you okay? I'm fine. <laughs> What's wrong? Nothing, okay? Please, just leave me alone. It's funny, isn't it? No, actually, it hurts really not bad. Not, not that, not that. <sighs> then tell me what could be so funny. The fact that you would think that a canister full of helium would defy gravity in some way and not fall so hard on the beautiful clown's foot. Do I know you? Not that I know of. Did Steven put you up to this? Because really, this has not been my day, please. This is just sad. Oh. oh, now it's sad. Tell me what is so sad about, about this situation. The fact that I'm out here trying to have a friendly conversation with you and you just keep blowing me off. What are you doing? Just sitting here chit-chatting? Um, no, actually, I dropped the helium tank. You dropped it. it? Did you break it? Um, I think it's just bruised a little I'll bit. I'll the foot. Never mind. You are the clumsiest girl I've ever had work for me. Get your act together and get back to work. Wow, that was harsh. Is he always like that? Can you just take a hint? Dang it. My shoe is dented. Of course it is. I'm such an idiot. Um, let, let me fix it. Come on, let me see it. You know, the longer I live, the more I realize the impact of attitudes on our lives. Attitude is more important than the facts, the past, education, money, success. It's more important than what people think, say, or do. It will make or break a company, a relationship, a church, or, or, or even a home. The cool thing is that each day we get to decide how we're going to embrace it. You know, I mean, we can't change the way that people act. We can't change the inevitable. I'm convinced that life is 10% what happens to me and 90% how I react to it. And so, you know, with that, it is with you. You're in charge of your attitude.
What's yours? I you never ask. It's best. I guess, uh, I guess fairy tales do come true. What? Nothing. <laughs>